Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a player review on Iron Robin on FIFA 18. I was really interested to use this player since he did get an upgrade from an 87 to an 88, uh, from FIFA 17 to FIFA 18. His stats look really good this year. 86 pace and shooting, 81 passing, and that awesome 90 dribbling. Of course, high-low work rates and left-footed for this player. And as always, he's got the four-star skill moves and the pretty abysmal two-star weak foot. We all know Robin is a very left-footed player, right? Uh, so moving into a couple of squads that you could use this guy in. The first would be my full-on Bundesliga side. It features some gems such as uh, Weisser at right back, Goretzka in the midfield alongside Taliso as well, uh, Timo Werner up front. Uh, and then this is the squad that I, that I mainly played him in. It's... It's a super squad that I have that I can just rotate the strike force and Robin fit in perfectly today alongside the icons and Bundesliga players. So, taking a little look at the in-game stats of the Dutchman. I was expecting good things because, of course, those stats on his item are pretty impressive and he is a high-rated, expensive, elite kind of player. On basic chemistry style, he looks insanely good with 95 dribbling. Uh, and today, I've decided to use the Maestro chemistry style because I was already happy with the 86 pace that he's got. He's now got 96 dribbling, 93 shooting, and 87 passing. With the likes of 99 dribbling, 94 ball control, 98 long shots, and, well, 90 finishing overall. So, yeah, some good stats and a good chemistry style to use on a player like this. So what you're moving into now is the, the clips part of the video where I'll show you some of the shots that I missed. Mainly with Robin, they seem to hit the post for some reason. I'm not sure why. Um, instead of going wide or over, they seem to be a little bit closer to going in, but just, just not close enough. Hitting that would work quite often, actually, with this player. And then also the goals that I scored, and we're moving on to that now. But there are some negatives that you need to bear in mind with a player like this. Firstly, his strength. You don't expect him to be a strong player. He definitely isn't a strong player. He will lose a lot of the physical battles that you get into. So do your best to avoid them at all costs. Uh, and then the, the, the biggest uh, negative for this player, the one that you're most expecting, uh, is the fact that he's only got a two-star weak foot. Yeah, ask anyone, they probably know that Robin is an incredibly left-footed player that doesn't ever really use that right foot. So people know where you're going to go. They know you're trying to cut inside from that right-hand side to take the shot. Uh, you know, they know you're going to dip left to run left. So it's something that you need to bear in mind. It's going to make him a little bit more readable in-game. Uh, and then stamina, you know, he is getting on a little bit now, uh, he is aging and typically that means his stamina stat is going to go down, he does he does seem to get tired quite early on uh, I'd say mid second half, so he's useful for a lot of the time, uh, one thing you'll also notice about Robin is that he's one of the players that EA worked on uh, to get like his running technique you'll see like his arms flailing about a little bit more, which is very realistic and how he runs in real life, that's actually quite an impressive thing, the likes of Sterling have also got this and had this done to them for FIFA 18. I really like that little touch. It adds more realism to the game, right? Um, but moving on in to the positives. A very long list of positives, actually. Robin's an awesome player on FIFA 18. That is for sure. Had a lot of fun using him. His pace is great. Uh, you know, it's 86 on his item, so I wasn't expecting him to completely and utterly burn some of the quicker fullbacks in the game. Uh, but he does feel quick on the ball. Alongside the fact that he's got the combo, which means obviously he's going to feel a bit quicker because his dribbling, his ball control, his agility, his balance, all of those stats are up there. Uh, and well, you can see me weaving through defenses here, uh, sometimes sending them one way and then the other and then back and then back again. Uh, I was finding it a lot of fun to do that to some of my opponents because Robin's dribbling and change of direction is so, so good. Of course, he's got the four-star skill moves, which I find incredibly useful on the game, especially a Burma spin from the right-hand side with Iron Robin, getting him onto that stronger left foot to then finesse it into the top corner. That is something that you can expect to do with this player a lot of the time. Uh, and then the final couple of positives that we've got were his vision and passing ability was great. I got some assists with this player uh, and generally feel like if you do cut inside on the right-hand side, if you're still quite far out on the wing, you can definitely whip that ball in to a target man striker rather than going for the shot if you're better positioned to do so because he has got the ability uh, and, and the technique 
technique of, of great passing. He really is good at that. And then the final positive, his shooting. The long shots, the shot power that he gets on the ball, the whip and curve that he gets on it as well. You can expect it from Robin. You do expect it from Robin, and he certainly delivers. A great player for around that 100k mark on FIFA 18. Uh, I really enjoyed him. Let me know if it's in your plans to use this player on the game. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace.